Hey everyone, Uncle Wooly here with some more Fimble Winter on God of War Wednesday with Ragnarok Part 3. Raven, Maddest, good to see you. You lads are up late on a school night. My goodness. <laughs> uh, it is a non-school night for me. I do not have work tomorrow due to the Thanksgiving holiday in the United States. But I will say uh, DJ Wife and I have a previous engagement tomorrow, which is all day Hobbit and Lord of the Rings and plenty of food, plenty of wine and mead and ale. That's what's going on for us tomorrow. <laughs> uh, eating ice cream, 1 a.m. ice cream time. Make us proper jealous, Raven. What what are you snacking on? What, what kind of ice cream? It's going to be a day and a half. So... Uh, I'll be sharing pictures on socials and Discord and all that stuff. So be prepared for plenty of pictures of ales and eats. It'll be a, a really good time. We do this every year. It's an annual thing for us uh, where we watch all six movies, the Hobbit, uh, the three movies, and also the three movies of the Lord of the Rings, all extended, all extended. Hey, Kate, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back. How are you doing? How is your Wednesday going? My gosh, <laughs> everybody's here. <laughs> so good to see you all. Uh, I know I had Wimpy call me earlier. Uh, he said that he is gonna be lurking, but he's already done the full God of War Ragnarok experience. He's got the platinum trophy and everything. He is, uh, he's got it all nailed down. Going well. Uh, got up early. Heck yeah. So I take it, uh, I think you're in the States as well. So do you have uh, tomorrow off? Hopefully you do for the Thanksgiving holiday. And I talked about this beer on Monday and I had not had it yet this season. And I saw it today. So I had to get some. Uh, it's the Atomic Pumpkin, which is a spicy pumpkin ale from Voodoo Ranger. And I forget what they have in here. Ale brewed with pumpkin, cinnamon, and chilies. And it's good. It is really good. It's uh, got to be one of my favorite seasonal uh, pumpkin beers. And Friday. Heck yeah. That is nice. I am on call on Friday. But uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. But I do have Thursday off. Terrible, terrible rum with Diet Cola. You know... As long as it's cold, still sounds pretty good. Still sounds pretty dang good. Yeah, this one, the addition with the chilies in here just makes it uh, such a unique pumpkin beer. That uh, makes it one of my favorites. And uh, hence why they give it the Atomic Pumpkin uh, name there. <laughs> I promise you, it's not good. Well, you know, we all need our quantity drinks, right? What I refer to the uh, the beers that are inexpensive that I still enjoy, but uh, as uh, Mattist would say, it's a slab of piss, <laughs> and it's basically just a ton of uh, ton of cheap beer. Uh, but I call it uh, quantity beer because sometimes you know quantity over quality. Sometimes. Cheers, everybody. Good to see you all. And of course, I do have it in my in my pumpkin glass as well. We're festive around here. It's still autumn. I'm not hitting Christmas mode until Friday, okay? I am the Grinch until Friday. And then I am Mr. Christmas. But uh, yeah, good gourd indeed. It is a good gourd. It is a really good gourd. Thank you. Uh, all right, let's... Uh, cool down the yappin and we'll get over to some gameplay here with our favorite dad and boy so let's load up our game here last uh manual save was it uh spartalheim uh looks like we're about five hours in so not too incredibly far into the game but it is absolutely wonderful so far if I need to readjust volumes at any point, please let me know. No 
of my capture software has been lagging a little bit, so I might have to close that out real quick. Wimpy. I'm King Shark is a shark. <laughs> King Shark is a shark. I was just talking about you, dude. All good things, I assure you. Yeah, see, it's not lagging in OBS, but it's lagging on my side here. So let me just uh, fix that real quick. I think I You're see gonna something. See it blink for a second. Or two. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Hopefully, it works itself out. But this is such a beautiful game. Uh oh. Yeah, that was a bad throw. Enjoy your lurk, dude. And enjoy your pizza. Enjoy your beer. Ooh, this, uh... This lag is a little crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let me try one more thing real quick. I'm sorry to do this. Pro strimmer moment. Pro strimmer moment. But hopefully everybody's having a good week so far. We're about halfway there. Those in the States, it is... Uh, it is kind of a weird week. Ooh, there we go. Now it's flowing good. Okay. <laughs> if you need any guidance, give me a shout. I will definitely do that. So, bite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were going to die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. <laughs> In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Okay, I need to turn this up just a bit on my side. How is it for you guys? Does it need to be a little bit louder? see here where are we at for volume yeah let's uh push that up just a little bit more seems balanced it? let it serve you that might be too loud now Yarns meet a pit mines. Sweet. Okay, any of our uh, green feathered spy friends anywhere here? Guess not. And just like I've said in past streams, if anybody needs to lurk due to spoilers, I totally understand. So don't uh, don't feel afraid to do so. I know Mattist is quite ahead of me. Um, Crash! He's must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. I know Raven's probably quite a bit ahead. Wimpy's way, way ahead. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's take Looks stock like the of the whole area. The crane that's keeping the cargo up. Okay, there's a ladder there. Well, let's go check this out first. Oh. I guess I can't. All right. Brother, think freezing it could stop the water. Oh, just can I just freeze the wheel with that? Or do I need to throw it onto the axle Whoa. there? Oh, come on. Well, I'll try it a little bit closer. Whoa. I can't get a good view of that uh, that geyser. All right. Let's see what we can find here. Ladders mean nothing. Uh, no. I'm sure I'll, it'll come to me in a moment. <laughs> I'm sure it's something stupid, too. Oh, hey. Look at this. Can we zip up over there? Freeze the wood channel. 
Hey. Okay, that like seems goofy. That um. That's it. Let's head across. But it works. Oh, this one we need to. Uh, to the left of the chest. Maybe night. Hey, Arth. Good bet. There's a couple Welcome more in. here. Let's find him, yeah? Welcome in, my friend. How's it going? Hopefully you're doing uh, better. I know last time we talked, uh, you weren't doing so well. So I hope you're doing much better. This is the water temple? Oh, no. Oh, no. I, w I didn't sign up for a Zelda game. That water it's supposed to be uh, here as the dwarves dug the mine deeper. It's supposed to be God of War. Before they excavated it. All right. Oh, hey. Here we go. Oh, I need to freeze it. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. Here we go. And instead, you have directional water puzzles. I'm sorry to hear that, Arthur. Um, glad we could keep you company here tonight. And uh, I'm really sorry to hear that, my friend. Can we get some some continued hearts in chat for Arthur, please? Hoping the best for you, man. Let's see here. What do we got? Oh, hey, we got runes. Is cooperative in large scare quotes. <laughs> Asgard Svartalfheim Mining Cooperative. I was not the one to coin this particular equivocation, but one has to respect the pure, emotionless language that paints over decades of systematic slaughter and oppression. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's all how you spin it, right? Okay, so I need to come back over here, freeze this thing again. There we go. There we go. Born of Blood Mead. I thought I had already picked up one of those. All right. Continuing on. Minimum of uh, two weeks at live in rehab. Well, I hope uh, the treatment uh, does you well. I might be able to and get I'm there, sorry to hear uh, that you have to go through that. But uh, definitely hoping the best for you. And if uh, you need entertainment, people to keep you company, there's always a voice chat in the Discord and stuff as well. If I'm not live or anybody else is hanging out there, uh, yeah. Definitely, uh, definitely reach out. I'm sorry to, sorry to hear about that, Arthur. Oh, you like my vitamin R hat? And I like that you call it vitamin R. Great. I'll head across for a better look. I like that you know that it's vitamin R. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. If. <laughs> oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Petraeus. <laughs> uh, I like that. Oh, so we need to freeze it. Might you be able to freeze it? Yeah, I know, Mimir. Don't. That was close. Try again. No. Here we go. I hope you can make that jump. Can I turn those hints off? Um, at all? Rainier beer comes from here. Oh no. But I know that's a popular saying. 
Oh, you're from that area. Excellent. Yeah, I wish they distributed here, but they do not. Can I turn off some of those hints, uh, Mattist or anybody else? I feel like they're just a little bit... Uh... You see it on your walk to school? Heck yeah. That is beautiful. Um... Scree Game assist... Oh, puzzle timing? No, I'm just want to turn off some of the hints. I just feel like uh, Mimir and Atreus are just giving hints way too quickly. Like, even after you already know what's going on. Oh, audio clue glossary. Or audio cue, rather. Uh, nope. Okay. Shoot. Data ran out and the hospital Wi-Fi was so bad? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Yeah, that is very unfortunate. The hospital uh, networks can be quite closed off. All right, Atreus, where are you at? Oh, so I need to freeze this thing. Here we go. Still not enough, eh? What are you doing, Atreus? Where are you at? Boy. Okay. This is going to be annoying. What the heck? What the heck? playing one of the games I really loved at the time. Uh, Super Castlevania. Nice, dude. I've uh, seen some people playing the older Castlevanias, and it really makes me want to, uh, to play those. Isn't there a collection on the PlayStation you can get? I think that's what I had seen. Oh, I can just jump over. Another one of those wooden troughs. Wow. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Oh, hi. I was making it way more difficult than it needed to be. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it? My goodness. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I was just uh, just kind of curious because I have been wanting to play those. I'm not sure if I would play them on stream, but uh, definitely off stream could be interesting. <laughs> Here we go. Boy, that was, uh, I made that way more difficult. Uh, clearly, I have woolly brain going tonight. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet, you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? <laughs> I got the woolly brain going tonight. You lift on your side. I will lift on mine. <laughs> Heavier than I thought. <clears throat> Thanks. Mm. Let's keep moving. He's got a lot of depth to his grunts. Uh, 
some quality voice acting. Some of these grunts just are multi-dimensional. You know, it's some, a good set of voice acting going on. Something that's been killing me not to be able to say. Um, uh, what's that, Arthur? Uh, let's see here. Oh, can't go down any further. I, I agree, Rob. He's uh, basically an angsty teen at this point. <laughs> Definitely an angsty little Atreus. Um, still a boy, but uh, yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome in. See, it's your first time here. My name's Uncle Wooly. If you have a preferred nickname or preferred pronouns, uh, feel free to share those in chat. Want to make sure you feel welcome. Uh, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome in. Nice like to meet you. Mine entrance. Let's see here. Ah, uh, just woke up. Okay. So Got I take it uh, you're in a further uh, eastern Since time zone. Lacking a light source. Sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark. These will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold horrors? <laughs> and then he's gone. And then he's gone. Uh, game is going wonderful so far. I am really, really enjoying it. I'm not sure if you've played all of it yet or not. Uh, oh, worked the night shift last night. Those are never easy. Uh, I definitely commend anybody that works a night shift. Uh, never, never easy. Let's see if I can do something here first without going all the way over. Nope. Oh, you finished two days ago. Awesome. Uh, I played the first one, and this is my first playthrough of the second one. Look out! So far, going pretty well. In addition to God of War Ragnarok, I've been working on Dark Souls 2 on Monday nights, and then Friday mornings, Friday mornings bright and early. Uh, I do uh, Final Fantasy uh, 4 currently. We're working through the, uh, the Pixel Remasters. I might have to turn down my headphones. I don't know if the gameplay is too loud for you guys. Feel free to let me know. Oh. Or these fun dudes. Little wretches. There we go. We can get the Origins collection since I never had a PSP and since it's available for PS3. I'm going to start from the beginning. Oh, awesome. Have you ever played any of the original ones uh, at all? I've played God of War 1 and 2. I never played... Uh, never played 3 or the origin stories. There we go. Whoa, are you seeing this? That huge crane's moving this way. Nice. Uh, just one through three. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, one and two were amazing. I would like to play three at some point. I think they have a remastered version on PS4, if I'm not mistaken. So I still have opportunity to play 3. Okay, we've kind of opened up our way around here. Let's uh, do all this stuff. Okay. 
Okay, Atreus, what else can we break? Oh, we already broke that. I feel like that's the way forward, and I am addicted to loot, so can we go down that way? Nope. Okay, we're good. We're good then. Definitely welcome in. Nice to meet you, Rob. Um, I think this is it. This is the what one. other games are you into? Uh, played Evil West on release. Uh, controls feel similar to God of War, so you might like it. Oh, hey, thanks for the recommendation. Some melee and shooting. I'll have to uh, take note of that. Intriguing. However, we're ill-equipped to do anything with it right now. Okay. That's good to know. Look out! Oh, I like I like catching the little wretches with the blades of chaos. Well, looks like the official entrance to the mine is blocked. But there's gotta be another way. This way. Nice. Not a dead end. Come on. Let's see where this, this way, goes. boy. Ugh. Ugh. You guys again? Behind you! Watch out! Oh, hello. Were you one of the uh, very brave people that did uh, give me God of War difficulty, or what difficulty did you do the game on? Me too, Rob. Me too. That's the type of game I usually gravitate exactly toward. Smile. RPGs, puzzle platformers, some horror. Oh, and, oh, Souls games. Okay. I think I can hear the water too. Slow down, Atreus. So I am working through the FromSoft catalog up to Elden Ring. So I have not yet done Elden Ring, but I've done Demon Souls remake. I've done Dark Souls one, and now currently near the end of Dark Souls two. Stay close. Oh, I need to actually aim. <laughs> there we go. Whenever you drink. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I missed your message there, Arthur. Uh, so, Sierra Nevada is just 20 miles north of your town. That's amazing. I am a big fan of Sierra Nevada's work. They have a. Uh, their celebration winter is it a wimp, winter IPA is good and they have uh, I don't know if they make it anymore it's a barley wine called uh, what did they call it uh, Bigfoot I think is really really good too yeah I will definitely lift one in your honor and I do have some in my fridge too I've done uh, Give Me God of War difficulty, at least a little of it to get a feel for it. That's why during my playthrough of the saga, I'll be doing the last two uh, of God of War games. Nice. Nice. I'm doing balanced right now just to kind of get a feel for the game and not to... <laughs> I'm not playing it off a of stream either, so I don't want to bog things down too much with the difficulty. <laughs> Oh, hello. I'm just and If you see the controls are slightly changed, I did that because I didn't want my rolling to get so messed up between uh Dark Souls and this. So I did swap the uh the roll and action buttons. Nice. Uh, finished uh, Dark Souls Remastered. Still need to finish Demon Souls, uh, Dark Souls 3, and Elden Ring. And, you know, I'll say Dark Souls 2 isn't for everybody. But about the mid to late game, I really started to enjoy it. Oh. 
There we go. Oh, the the finishing blows in this game are just brutal. That thing was nasty. Bigfoot and wheat are what I used to drink from them. Yeah, Bigfoot is so good. We're into barley wines. Bigfoot is tasty. I don't quite have the brewing knowledge at the moment to brew a good uh, barley wine, but I really want to make one called uh, the Wooly Mammoth. I think would be a fun one to make. I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff. And I don't get why we can't do that along no. here. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's a door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's got to be close. Well, there's nothing that says he's got to be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Svartalfheim, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider <laughs> your intent. We'll catch up on chat in just a second here. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. I'm guessing it's called the Apple Curve. I think Apple Core sounds a little. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. And excuse me on pronunciation on any of these on names. Your question from before about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. <laughs> and be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. <laughs> Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I love how much of a neat freak uh, Sindri is. <laughs> Keyword. Um, practically done with Dark Souls 3. Still need to clear the final boss. As for Elden Ring, I still need to go through the Fire Giant and other bosses from there. Uh, a friend of ours, Strufty, um, had a real fun time with the Fire Giant. Uh, oh, you're getting there too on on your run, Raven. So Raven is doing a he does Elden Souls or Elden Gym rather, and he does Swole Souls, and it's basically every time he dies, he does spins a wheel and does workouts. So he'll do pull ups or push ups or leg raises or squats. Uh, so he's getting quite in shape just playing souls games and he started a last sunday started a sl1 run on dark souls one felt so janky stop playing after smelter demon oh it gets so much better after smelter demon though it was just over getting hit out of nowhere while my attacks kept going yeah that is fair that is fair um the iron keep is awful one of the worst areas in the game objectively but after the Smelter Demon, I, I really started to enjoy it a lot more. Um, much though not finishing Dark Souls 2, where I felt DS1 and 3 ties in better. That's fair. Box. Whatever you need. Let's see. What can we level up here? Uh, let's take a peek at this. Is that what I have equipped? Oh, the E is for equipped. Okay. What's that do? Gives us cooldown. That gives us strength. That uh, gives us less luck. So that's going to be a no. There we go. There we go. 
fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. <laughs> oh, Sindri. Okay, don't have enough to upgrade. Because I upgraded the other I'll stuff. Up the forge. Ooh, hey. Wear it with there we go. What was that trophy? Uh, oh, upgrade a piece of armor. Nice. Uh, let's also upgrade that if we can. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. <laughs> Pizza, welcome keep it in. Spatter free this time, right? Kratos? Welcome in. Uh, let's see here. Now, just as far as God of War goes, I love how Kratos' personality develops. There's so much more emotion. Yes, I agree. And looking back on some of the opening uh, cinematics, there's so much just little expressions in his face that it's amazing that the anima animation team pulled it off because it's so good. You've got new armor doesn't mean you should let yourself get knocked around more. It is so good. Pizza? How the heck are you? How's your week going? Hopefully you get Thanksgiving off. Tell me you get Thanksgiving off. How are you doing, pizza? Oh no, I'm sorry to Look, hear that. There's a door just across this gap. Tear could be right there. Let me get some hearts in chat for pizza, please. I'm sorry you have to work tomorrow. Whoever wrote this certainly had an eye for detail. Oh, 12 hours today and again tomorrow. Vault Vista. Don't know what to tell you. Not everything's got a thrilling story behind it. Sometimes people just label things exactly what they are. <laughs> the water yeah, it's uh, Thanksgiving holiday in the United States tomorrow, which is traditionally, traditionally, or colloquially, known as a day of feasting and thankfulness, but uh, it does have its historical uh, differences in meaning that I won't get too far into. But yeah. Uh, also, Rob, I haven't introduced you to my puppy dogs either. The one on the left is Roxy. She's a 13-year-old Jack Russell. Uh, the one on the right is Lucy. She's a 4-year-old Shih Tzu. And they're infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people usually stick around for them. Uh, they tolerate my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns in the meantime. Uh, they did motion capture for this game and the last. So it renders digitally through... The, yeah. Uh, but still, I mean, just the way they were able to match it up with his facial expressions. And the little things, like... Uh, and I saw a video on this today where when Atreus is hanging the deer on the tree and Kratos turns around and gives him this look of approval and it's the closest thing you get to a smile from Kratos and what we've seen from his character this far and it's so awesome it fits so well hey thank you for the new follow welcome in welcome in they are anonymous around here but if you want to drop in chat and say a hello you're more than welcome to but I don't want to disturb you too much if you're enjoying the work. But welcome. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, they are pretty good doggos. They are pretty good doggos. Let's see. Oh, hey. There's something I can shoot. Scarfire. Sounds like you got the water moving along, brother. What next? So I need to freeze it. There we go. That worked. Let's get to the door. Come on. So how does Atreus get over, is my question. <laughs> yeah, just amazing. I'm so in awe with what they're doing story-wise uh, story and also just uh, production-wise in games these days. It's just phenomenal. Tear? Santa Monica well, and Sony have done an amazing job. This is where job. Tear is. He, He's got to be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. 
That's why we're... Ahem. Brothers. If Fimble Winter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Let's see. Let's shoot that one. Hey, hey, look at that. Uh, a jester. Welcome in. Nice to see you. My name's Uncle Wooly. I play Dark Souls 2 on Monday nights. Wednesdays, we'll be working on God of War Ragnarok for the foreseeable future. And Fridays, I play Final Fantasy 4. That's a bright and early cozy stream on Fridays. Uh, for Thanksgiving, we have no idea what we're going to be making to eat. Uh, older brother does a lot of cooking while I help, but starting this year, it'll be the first that he won't be spending with us. I'm sorry to hear that, Rob. Um, we'll go ahead and lift, uh, lift one in honor of your brother there. Um, it sounds like it in the past had been quite the meaningful holiday for you. Um, and especially that time you were able to spend with him. So, uh, lift a glass in honor of your brother. Would usually bring some pumpkin crunch for dessert. Ooh, that does sound very tasty. That does sound very, very tasty. Can we get some hearts in chat for Rob, uh, please? Yeah, it's uh, one of those times a year where we have a lot of holidays, especially in the United States, so it can be a little difficult. Or very difficult as we uh, navigate some of those holidays without some of our family. And yes... Uh, it is uh, a very, very good game so far. Uh, you passed this past April from kidney failure and liver failure. Uh, not a good combo at all, but uh, mahalo. Mahalo. Um, and also a jester, I'll extend this greeting to you as well. If you have preferred nickname, preferred pronouns, uh, feel free to share those in chat. I want to make sure you feel welcome. At 50, that's too young. That is incredibly too young. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Sword, welcome in. I should have known. In Sword, I have uh, I have something to tell you. I did get a new box of beans, but we're going to get through this box first, and then we'll get to that box of beans. And of course, I'm out of that bean. And I have that bean, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one more time uh, because every time I spin and there's a bean that I don't have, I'll do a second bean until we get through the rest of this box. All right, so it's going to be berry blue or toothpaste, and it's going to be rotten egg or buttered popcorn. This is not going to be a good combo. Not going to be a good combo at all. Oh, I love that emote, Rob. Um, oh, that is cute. That is very cute. <laughs> that is very cute and you can call me AJ well, welcome in AJ welcome welcome in uh, we're going to get some beans going here it's a little nightmares one That is, it is very cute alright so here we go here's your two beans sword cheers At least the toothpaste is trying its hardest to cancel out the rotten egg. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm. Well, toothpaste isn't that bad of one. Mm. The two bean supreme strikes again. Thank you, sword. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Got it out of my teeth. Yeah, the toothpaste one isn't bad, and I think the berry blue with the rotten egg would have been far worse. Hmm. No, it's still stuck in there. Bear with me. <laughs> I 
I was an affiliate and had a little nightmares theme for my channel. Uh, not a feel If I didn't know better, anymore. I'd uh, think you had feelings for me. If I didn't know better, Raven. <laughs> not affiliate anymore, though, and I'm fine with it. A lot of things I didn't like uh, about what came with being an affiliate. Hey, that's fair. That is fair. Well, uh, it's a very cute emote, nonetheless. I do like it. I, I really, really enjoyed uh, Little Nightmares 1 and 2. Uh, they are wonderful games. Wonderful, wonderful games. Oh, is AJ, uh, have a good stream. I'm going to sleep now. It's pretty late here in the UK. Yes, definitely get your sleep. Very nice to meet you, AJ. I do stream at a more UK-friendly time on Friday mornings if uh, if you're around. Um, typically around 11 a.m. Uh, we do a little bit of Final Fantasy around here. So if you're into that kind of thing, I'd be uh, happy to see you back. But definitely have a good sleep. Can we get some hearts in chat for AJ, please? Definitely take care of yourself, friend. <gasps> And hope to see you soon. Played that game, uh, Limbo, and other games from the same dev. Oh, yeah. Uh, is that the same dev uh, as Limbo? I have not played inside. Oh, or, oh, you're answering Pizza's question. Gotcha. That is the same dev of, uh, Father, up there. of Limbo. What are you pointing at, Atreus? Yeah, I have not played inside. I played Limbo twice, so I played it the first time. And how many deaths did I have? I think like 145 deaths or something stupid like that. And then I did a kind of revisiting not long ago. And yeah, I, I think it was still 80 something deaths. It was so stupid. <laughs> Uh, stupid on my part. I love the game. So don't take that as me trash talking the game because I really liked it. But I just had a little bit of, uh, a little bit of stress over it from the amount of times that I died. Yes, definitely have a good night, AJ. Very nice to meet you tonight. Oh, is Raven leaving us too? Uh, Raven, have a wonderful sleep. Are you streaming tomorrow? By chance? I'll be watching copious amounts of Lord of the Rings and also ingesting much food and many ales, but uh, I will try to do the Lurky Lurk tomorrow. Learn anything? Have a great night, my friend. Can we get some more hearts in chat for Raven? Uh, yes, and uh, we'll definitely be there for at least a little bit of Elden Jim. Uh, we built this realm with our dwarven hands, reinforced it with dwarven muscle, innovated with our dwarven minds, but we no longer have to do it alone. Our strength and ingenuity has finally found an equal in the Aesir of Asgard. Now, Dwarven Smiths will work hand in hand with Aesir soldiers and engineers. Now, Aesir backs will share the burden with their Dwarven brethren, lightening the load for us all. It was Dwarves who made Svartalfheim what it is, but together with the Aesir, we can make it into something for Odin. I mean, into something even better. Sorry, I deviated from the text there. Uh, that sounded... Uh, very optimistic uh, for people who did not huh. quite have an understanding more. of the Aesir gods. How many doors are there down here? <laughs> not to be discouraging, but it is a mine after all. Namir, <gasps> that is discouraging. <laughs> uh, did you see that over there? No. I didn't. Oh, 
Okay, definitely not getting that from this side. There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. We should look. Yep, that we should. That sounded like it wasn't quite right there, brother. <laughs> okay, so that's outstanding. Oh, there we go. That overflowing water is burning the crane. Clever. Love Norse and Greek mythology. I guess that's why I love playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Only thing I didn't like about the game was how open-ended it was. Oh, gotcha. Not that I have anything against Assassin's Creed. I just never played any of them past one. And I've been hearing a lot that I need to at least, at the very least, go back and play two. I know they're good games. People really enjoy them. Oh, hey. I can hit that from here. There we go. Ah, uh, hey. Look at that. There we go. Okay, can't go that way, so we gotta go back this way. Odyssey was the best, in my opinion, as far as combat goes, with Valhalla coming in second. <laughs> that is good to know. Wait, where are you going? We will return. Which uh, means we're going to check out some loot, Atreus. There's another okay. door! Let's beat these guys and check there! Yeah, I should have waited for the big bad on that one. Behind you! Come on. Here we go. Got him! All right. Love Odyssey the most? Okay. I will probably have to add that to my list at some point here. Can I cheese this dude? It's probably not the way they meant for this boss to be, uh, or mini boss to be fought, but. Oh, is he getting tired of getting hit? That was cool. That was cool. Come on. Oh, I guess I can't when there's... Here we go. Got him. Behind you, poison. Here we go. Oh, this game is so fun. <laughs> the door now, shall we? It, the combat. There's no way to explain how good the combat is this until you actually play it. It is so good. You know, oh, the Blades of Chaos. Uh, and then Athena appearing in the background. It felt so memorable with Kratos going. But yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. They did such a good job. And after that point in the game, I pretty much used them fairly exclusively. And 
and when you start the game with them on this, it uh, it was difficult for me to switch back to the uh, Leviathan Axe, but there's still times that I enjoy it. Um, and kudos to the developers for coming up with a weapon so memorable that it rivals that level of weapon. Because of the Blades of Chaos are just so iconic that you create another weapon that's just as iconic. Pretty cool. I think we can go this way. Pretty dang cool. A statue. Made for the Aesir. Indeed. And then stolen by Ulfjolf the thief. I recall Ulfjolf the thief's antics. He understood one of the most important rules of resistance. You don't always need to win major battles. You just need to inconvenience your invaders. Before Svartalfheim voluntarily bent the knee to Asgard, Odin sent a detachment of Einjar as a gentle show of force. There wasn't a day that went by where I didn't hear about missing bags of grain or pilfered armor, or in this case, treasured valuables stolen away before they could be returned to Asgard. Unlike most thieves I've known, he stole not for the thrill nor the payoff, but simply to irritate the Einjar. <laughs> and it worked, until they laid a trap for him, caught him, and hanged him with the length of rope he'd been attempting to steal. I, I admire the dude. That's cool. I like the little backstories here. Uh, since it's easier to stun and cause more damage, at least to me, I just use the blades. That's fair. That is fair. All right, let's go back to the lift. That's it. Come on. Let's take that lift up. Tier can't okay, be far. Okay, but we need to get over there. Or do I need to switch that back over? No. Okay. There's something afoot here. Let me see. Does nothing. Oh, there we go. There we go. We'll be up there in no time. I just needed to stop woolly brain in it. we go. Well, that's a very inconvenient lift. Okay, new exercise. Let's think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in this mine. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list, but I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. So we're probably going to have to fight Tyr, is, is my guess. Which is cool. Tyr? Whoa, what happened here? Uh, something big. Yay. Yeah. 
Oh, somebody's stuck in the wall there. Here we go. There we go. Best look around. Is that a relic? This dwarf didn't make it out. Uh, provide a special ability that activates. Ooh. Okay. Talisman of Mine. Grants a bonus to melee damage for a short duration. Ooh. And we can upgrade it too. Okay, I get that. that's how I can. There we go. Let's max that thing out. So that's might be able to get out of here this way. Just need to go the same way the dwarf uh, fell out of. Anything else we can do here? Nope. Can't climb that. Always made me confused as to which relic uh, I want to use that can cause the most damage. Yeah. Um and the Valkyries in the first one really gave that Another like empty. balance between <clears throat> Your uh, runic Never. abilities. Perhaps it's time no, we... don't even say it. We're gonna find him. And finding which ones could uh, Look, could door stun on the, the Valkyries the too. Let's go. Because that was a big thing in the in the Seagram fight. Seagram in the uh, 2018 version. Oh, not fun. Really cool battle, but not fun. I do believe we're above where we got off the boat by Sindri. This mine is one enormous spiral. Okay. What happened? Why didn't that work? The chain is blocked. Get off him. Should be clear now. There we go. Ready when you are. I don't want to see what's over here first. That's a loot. I think I can hear something in there. Too much stuff to explore. Let's get over there first. One more door. That one has to be it. We will see. Seems like we'll have to get to it first. Quite across. 
look for another way. Like the little spiders and just the little extra like wildlife touches they've done in this are amazing too. Uh, 4 p.m. Oh, wow. Uh, I was going to go to the gym, but I know there's going to be traffic and I don't want to deal with all that sitting in the car just trying to get there. <laughs> Atreus, another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leaves a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong, and you did the right thing. War does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Uh, oh, we have to kind of blast this thing. Okay, it looks like this machine is dropping ore into the water trough. It's frozen. The ore's jammed and it's making the water overflow. Oh, okay. So, it's not what we need to do, or we need to freeze it further back. There we go. Yeah, I'm a fan of puzzles. Uh, it's gotta be it. I'm a big fan of puzzles. Let's see here. Oh, cool. So that's just going now. So I can freeze this one. Oh, need to go further back. There we go. Now we have our way across. We're almost there. Maybe there's a way to get the platform moving again. Okay. Oh, I like this uh, multi-part. Hey, here. we did it! I'll meet you at the door. This is cool. Yeah, they've done a good job with these. This could be it. Ooh, hey, Odin spy. Here we go. Let's see the animations, what opens or what happens. Yeah. We still have to go back and check out that last door, right? And there's almost no loading screens in this game either, which is just truly amazing. I'm telegram to be still. <laughs> this looks familiar. We're back in the spiral section yeah. of the mine. And that's fine. We needed to get over here. A statue. Not just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the world mill. Uh, Durin's stone statue. Durin the Generous built the world mill over the course of decades. He foresaw a future in which Svartalfheim was as lush and verdant as the most overgrown fields in Vanaheim, and the world mill was the first step toward that future. He'd sell fertile, high-quality soil to the other dwarves and pour all the proceeds into keeping the world mill running. When Odin heard of this miraculous machine and the independence it might one day grant Svartalfheim, he offered Durin gold beyond measure to destroy it. Durin refused. Odin wanted to bring the whole structure down, of course, but I convinced him to steady his hand. Instead, Asgard simply made their own world mill. We sold our own soil to the dwarves at prices Durin couldn't possibly match. He couldn't afford the upkeep on his miraculous machine, and so it fell into despair. Once Durin's world mill broke, Odin destroyed Asgard's as well. Durin took his own life shortly thereafter, and that is the story of how Svartalfheim almost gained independence. Hey, thank you for the new follow, and also, hey mom, welcome in, good to see you. Sorry, I got a really itchy nose tonight. <laughs> hey, from Colorado. Well, hello from not Colorado, but welcome in. <laughs> Can we get some hearts in chat for my mom? 
and a happy early Thanksgiving to you no and the company you keep tonight. Uh, how is it going? We can return to Brock whenever you're ready. Uh, let's see here. Can we just walk through the door? <clears throat> Another drug of old brother. Yeah, I was hoping we could go out to the main area to fight this thing. Nope. Let's uh, unleash a little bit of Spartan Rage on this thing. Not good. Kind of trapped there. Oh, the music is so good. Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, one down. Just uh, focus on reducing their numbers here. Well, I've been playing too much uh, Dark Souls, okay? The game, Amir? Oh, yeah, I should probably use the shield. <laughs> I should probably use the shield. Why so angry? I think that's what... Yeah. He does have a way of unleashing the temper. So cheers, Mom, if you're still hanging about. Good to see you guys. Um, I don't think the shield has parrying capability, or maybe it does. And I'm awful at it too, by the way. Very awful at parrying. Another drug of old brother. Oh, I should have. But you probably already know that. Yeah. Oh, all shields? Okay. Well, then, never mind them. <laughs> right side, brother. Just wooly being wooly. Come on. Oh, I can't block that. What am I doing? just need to get good here. Yeah, have fun. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. So good to see you. Have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you tomorrow for sure. But uh, until I do, uh, have a good night and a happy Thanksgiving. Can we get some another round of hearts and chat for my mom, please? So good to see you. So happy to hear from you, as always. All right. We shall do this again. But better. Faster. Stronger. I didn't care how many times I died because it it was fun just to see what can and can't be parried. That's true. Another drug of old brother. Time. 
So close. That drawer. There we go. We fought it at the other drawer hole, didn't we? Odd. Oh, it's the same one. Yeah, if that's the same drawer, that's uh, curious on the lore implications of that. Ugh. That's not what I was ready for. Ooh, hey. Another dead end. Where could he be? Atreus, this mine is largely abandoned. It is unlikely. Here's here. I know it. Derlin's direction stopped. Fortified frost knob for the axe. Searching until we find him. You said nice. you'd follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will Ooh. follow, but I state what I see. You did not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear, sir? Yeah, respect your uh, your father there. Atreus, okay. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Mom. Cheers. Tonight, Mom, we're uh, actually drinking a Colorado beer. It's the uh, Atomic Pumpkin, and it is a spicy pumpkin ale from New Belgium. So, aptly fitting. Cheers, cheers. Oh. Yeah, they are rough. I did fight the one um, back just outside of the Dwarven city, uh, Nid of Valir. But it was rough. Uh, just as rough as that one. Happy Gobble Gobble Day. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just have the itchiest nose, and I don't like to have my face on camera when I itch my nose. Okay. There's got to be more around here that I haven't explored yet. Oh, you mean I have to... Uh, that's... That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, this is just a beautiful game. They've done such a good job with this. <laughs> Anything? Uh, people going to be so impatient today and tomorrow making turkey preparations. Damn That's it. fair. Did you hear uh, that, brothers? I don't think we're alone. He is open. Eyes up. I've been really bad about going to the gym, but that's kind of been ever since uh, the pandemic. You do have some here. home gym type out. stuff, but I have a hard time motivating myself to work out at home. Because part of the thing about going somewhere is that once you're there, you kind of have to do it, right? It, it's not like you're going to go there and not do anything. Uh, but at home, it's hard to find that motivation to, uh, to work out at home. So people that are able to do that uh, very regularly... Uh, Atreus, a lot of respect. Do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers, wait. Is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's bar. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the spare bed clothes. I see what we must do. Yep, I see it too. I just want to explore a little bit. Don't give me clues, okay, uh, Mimir and Atreus? Atreus. Your arrows. Ready when you are. And there we go. Yeah, we do have some room in our basement. Uh, we just need to carve out a little more space. But we do have a treadmill and some uh, some weights and whatnot. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of like body weight uh, type exercises and very uh, functional type things because I'm I don't want to lose flexibility <laughs> as I as I start to get older. That's the one thing I don't want to lose. 
Oh, these are... Bifrost attacks. Einyar can inflict Bifrost on the health bar. Bifrost heals over time, but follow up. Ooh. Not good. Oh, hello. Oh, the juggle moves are so good in this. <laughs> Here we go. Clearly they don't want us in there. This has to be it. Back to it then. Yeah, stretching is very underrated. Uh, very, very underrated. Oh, come on, Kratos. Dang. That's a lot of force that's needed for that uh, huge door. A lot of force. <coughs> oh, it's Tear. Tear! What trickery is this, Odin? What Ooh. game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. Man, he is very defeated. There's this no telling what Odin did to him. Those plates. I know you. God killer. And you come from me now. Only to free you. Stay away. Brother, let me try. Tear. Tear. Look, you know me, don't you? You. You killed Mimir. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, we, we brought him right back. You. Yeah. Stay away from me, you monsters. Stop. We need him. Wait. Boy. Oh, hey, we have separation of father and son. Well, fun. We don't have uh, arrows to distract these guys from this fight. <laughs> I keep forgetting about my shield. <laughs> oh, that's fun music. And Bear McCreary did a, an amazing job with the soundtrack. Oh, yeah. It's exactly like watching TV drama. Popcorn, maybe I can pop some in the microwave, uh, snack on some mac and cheese afterwards. Uh, I've been meaning to eat some popcorn, especially. Oh man, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. 
Asgard's finest, a warrior of Midgard wants nothing more than to fall in battle. It would ensure passage to Valhalla, a promised land, where the honorable and wretched alike are sent. There Odin selected the best and gave them another chance to die for him, thus creating the Einjar. It's diabolically genius if one would like to view it that way instill enough devotion within a bloodthirsty group of undead killers and you guarantee yourself a near endless supply of fodder for your war. Any Bifrost they get on you will detonate next time you're hit unless you stay undamaged until it dissipates, which would be my humble recommendation. That's almost a perfect uh, spot for Mattis Dog's uh, custom chat command if he's, if he's about... <laughs> The endless fodder for uh, Odin's war. It's a little disappointing to me was how they made Kratos. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think God's this God's age though. At least in this universe. <laughs> Well, let's just, uh... Right There we go. All right. that at the moment. Here, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> just leave me alone. Tyr, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get, get you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. Yeah, I kinda I kinda got that from the uh the journal entry there so it's just it doesn't do the damage but if you get hit again it can do big damage and take away that much if not more we help people yeah. i don't belong out here please it's worse when he's angry school bus <laughs> welcome in dude how's it going 11 heckin months my friend uh where does the time go i i have known school bus for a number of years but 11 months on twitch dude Thank you so very much for the support. Tonight we're sipping on some New Belgium Atomic Pumpkin. So cheers, my friend. Thank you for 11 months. Thank you so very much, dude. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You. Why? You don't know me. 
I know what you stood for. You helped the Giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? Yeah. Wow. Uh, he grew Here. a little bit. <laughs> Your statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. walking stick. No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But. Okay. Catch up at the end of the cutscene here. I, uh, I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a, I, uh, There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. <laughs> That's a valid question. We must return home. I mean, Tyr has been locked up on his own for a very long time, so that's a valid question. To so just, uh, you know, wonder if any of this is real. Uh, school bus, we did get the beer brewed on Sunday. It is a holiday ale with mulling spices, um, sweet orange peel, and candy sugar. And this is a photo from Monday. Uh, or I don't know. It's difficult due to the color, and I'm just showing it from my phone. But there's a little bit of Krausen or the uh, fermentation foam there on top. Uh, so it's currently in the fermenter, fermenting away. And I will take pictures as I transfer it to secondary fermentation. And also, uh, we'll be doing a bottling party in the Discord. If uh, anybody wants to join. Uh, so I'll be sure to update everybody when that happens. But all my socials are just at that one link. Uh, feel free to uh, Can you feel that? join or disregard Wait. as many of those as you want to. Over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names I know there's tons and tons. I'm Atreus. You already know Amir. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Jotnar? Tons and tons of discords out there for almost every streamer, so <laughs> I understand if people don't want all the extra My notifications the and that stuff. Laufe? Laufe. I remember that name. She tried to help people too. She's in the light of Valfon now. You have my sympathies. Man, Tyr is cool. It's a cool dude. How's your week going, uh, school bus? How was your uh, How was your weekend? Are you uh, doing much for the Thanksgiving okay. holiday? These are just much stronger when you're not sitting down. Is there anything I can do with this door at the moment? Me in. Okay. I wish there was a quick turn, like a, like down and dodge, you know, that would be cool. Or is there one and I just don't know. It. It's the least I can do. Whoa. All right, am I supposed to be doing something here? Oh, yeah. Uh, this thing right here. <laughs> Why risk Odin's wrath to free me? Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Mimir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment... Execrable torture at the hands of the old father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. 
The only way to free him was to... Well, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. <laughs> ah. You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. Probably hurts There's his eyes. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok Spared Sands. Which means Balder. Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Come here. Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all <laughs> kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetlands. Um, ooh, good. Cooking here tomorrow. Beer can chicken, homemade mashed potatoes, homemade cranberries, green bean casserole, and Dutch baby pancake. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, we're going to be chilling. Uh, DJ wife and I, oh, L1 and down is a quick turn. Okay. And, uh, mm, potato pizza. Oh, wimpy. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Uh, DJ wife and I watch the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit on Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving weekend. So we will be kicking off that tomorrow. Uh, see how many Hobbit movies we get through. But it's all extended editions. Plenty of food, plenty of uh, ales uh, are in order. I also did pick up some mead and some wine. So ready for a good time tomorrow. Watch out! No. No, 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 no. It's okay. I've got you. There's a lot of people that don't like it, but uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think out of the three, Battle of the Five Armies is probably the weakest. But it's still good. Uh, yeah, we got a we got a good sale. Uh, can't remember when it was. And then recently, our digital collection of it was got like a free upgrade to 4K. So I think this will be the first year we'll be watching it in 4K. Amazing. Come. We must leave before more creatures attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I have abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Ooh. <laughs> So, complete uh, pacifism. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? We want help, dude. You speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. That I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war... Yeah. Or worse yet, lead you to it... Then kill me. 
now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tear we need. We need you. All right. All I ask is for a good night's rest. Yeah. And maybe some food. I'd say you've earned it, dude. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? <sighs> the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Uh, ooh. A honey weiss. I haven't had one of those. Gosh, in a long time. Those are tasty, dude. As far as movies go, still need to watch the rest of the Star Wars. Uh, which ones? Which ones, Rob? Balder tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. <laughs> and that the giants are all gone. And how they called me Loki. And finding the shrines... The giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... <laughs> dead. Dead. Do you think Odin... We do not know. Oh, the resistance on this controller is amazing. <laughs> if anybody's played this on a PS5, a too soon. the resistance Whoa. on the DualSense controller is Reinforcements awesome. from Asgard. The Einaryar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Einaryar. Einaryar. I was definitely Are they using pronouncing the sky to travel right. between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on either Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. So that would be uh, Daisy Ridley would be the actress. So that must be uh, episodes uh, seven, eight, and uh, and nine then. I have things I like about each of them. I have things I dislike about each of them. But uh, those three movies are very divisive amongst the uh, Star Wars community. That's for sure. I wasn't expecting to meet Tyr this early into the game. Of the myths and legends Mimir has unfolded to us, none have so inspired Atreus as the life of Tyr. Once the god of war in these lands, he dedicated himself to peace, a hero not only to mortals of Midgard, but to those of the far-off lands of other pantheons to which he traveled in the name of diplomacy. Even the Jotnar revere him. It is believed his aid is what the, made the giants disappear, escaping Odin's wrath, at least for a time. I am not certain he will prove as useful to us as Atreus hoped, either as a leader or as a source of information, though perhaps, with patience, he will recover himself. Most importantly, he seeks neither war nor revenge for the suffering visited upon him. In this, I am grateful. Yggdrasil. It's been too long. I've forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... very private people. 
Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Perhaps after some need. A treehouse. Lord Tear. You're really alive. Am I? I wonder. <laughs> okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. Well, I'll be. Oh. So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Still. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tear. I'm going to turn in. <laughs> Big day tomorrow. So, Tear. Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. All right. All right, Brock. Construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go to trouble on my account. Too much space. Oh, we never uh, equip that, but it brings our strength down, so we're not going to yeah, do it anyway. But it's where I uh, you know what? It looks cool. Oh, wait. With the upgrade, it's not bad. Never mind, then. Never mind. Some food, then. Came a long way, too, but just as hilarious now as he's just himself still. Yep. <laughs> So that's what's left of Tear, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical? <laughs> What'll it be? Nope, cannot upgrade the axe quite yet. Ooh, hey, our shield can be upgraded, then. I'll put some herd on them. Nice. <sighs> Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the All-Father's eye on me. Yeah, that's got to be pretty tough. Well, this place, all these settings in this game, whether it's like a swampy marsh kind of desolate area or this place, everything's so beautiful, it's so detailed and just feels so real. Uh, I just I'm gushing over this game. To be honest, it's <laughs> it's just so dang good. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. <laughs> I want things to be the way they were. Well. I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. <laughs> I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tear might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No, I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? 
Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. School bus, have a wonderful night, dude. Can we get some hearts in chat for school bus? Have a wonderful night. Have a happy Thanksgiving, my friend. And take care of yourself, all right? Uh, wish the family all the best from me. Big cheers. And many, many thanks, dude, for 11 months. Happy Thanksgiving, friend. So good to see you. But we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? Oh, do we get to play as Atreus? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, <laughs> you know where Frey is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? <sighs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I still have yet to see this. Oh, it was nominated for Game of the Year. Um, and Plug Tale as well, yeah. Um, I have not played um, either game, and they are on my list to play at some point. Uh, but I've heard really, really good things about uh, both both Plug Tale games. But I'm pretty sure I saw this was nominated for Game of the Year already. Which, you know, kudos to Santa Monica for releasing it so uh, soon as in comparison to the uh, Game Awards, because what are the Game Awards in December? Well, it gives people a few weeks to get through it and kind of form opinions, but uh, uh, that's a tough thing, releasing games early in the year like Elden Ring, because Elden Ring was February. And it's just uh, usually things that are big and fresh in people's minds tend to win out. But this is so good. I'll say this about Elden Ring, and it's a similar criticism to any of the Souls games, which I really enjoy, and they're wonderful, but the story is very, very implicit. It's something you have to really dig into the lore to make the story uh, what you want, or get as much of the story as you want. And so it's really fun to dig into lore videos and everything after playing the games, but while you play them, it's really difficult to get that well-rounded view of the world they've built. Whereas games like this, it's very, very explicit. And there are some things you can get more lore by reading into, but you still get more of a full-rounded story out of it. Uh, which I'm usually a sucker for a really good story, so I will say that is one detriment to the Souls genre in a whole, or on the whole, rather, is just... Uh, the story is a little bit lacking. That's my main big criticism. But man, if you dig into like the lore videos and things, um, like Body Vidya, and there's some other ones that have made some really good videos on YouTube. Glad you brought uh, the key of Yggdrasil. I seem to it's be really cool to sink into those too. Just out without mine. Huh? You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air, is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh, no. I, I meant to tell you. Henry's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. It's too soon, dude. As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but... I traumatize either of us further. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep. Just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. 
Okay. Well, a lot's kind of happened, and I need answers. Yeah, this is cool that you get uh, some chances to play as Atreus. I like how they've done this. <laughs> Not so easy, huh? Shut up! That's also very fun. Just that little detail of how he's just seen his father do it so easily and he just is so foolhardy that he just thinks he can just rush headlong into doing exactly what his dad does and he just can't. That's awesome. That is some good storytelling right there. So, what's been going on? Oh yeah, it, it's so really funny, but I it's also just but so on character for about. him. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah, and I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help, me, but not giant magic. Fine, we'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's <laughs> venomous. Here we go. Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Yeah, yes. yeah we already know this, good, Sindri. Right? It's great, yeah. Sindri. Some of the stuff they, like, hint at and whatnot is just a little overdone, We're blocked. it feels like. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Okay, I thought we had some way to go over here. to aim at okay let's go this way then no way i'm lifting that <laughs> maybe with some help well, don't look at me who knows where it's been oh sindri such a funny dude looks like there's something hidden by the horseman if only I had a way to burn this. Yes, if only your father oh, were hey. here. That's not what I said. It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on, let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. Yeah, nice. So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thor a blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled, bear rampage? Beats me. <laughs> We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching... Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Oh, he's got finishers too? Nice. That's a quality craftsmanship! A little help would be nice. Uh, okay, right. I'll just... Ah, don't touch me! Wow, Sindri. Harsh <laughs> words. Not sure he'll recover. Shut up. Do you want my help or not? All right, all right. Need a moment. Stop him! Ah. 
Here we go. Man, Atreus has some fun combat too. Here we go. Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. All right, so that's a Kratos thing. Shoot, I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? Oh. If I say yes, you realize Burn. you're confirming Brock has all the talent? There's a burn there, Cindy. There. Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten Let's me once. See here. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. I need to load up something real quick. All right, I need to take a quick little break here. So I, I try to run ads during the break just so people don't miss anything, but also to keep uh, newcomers to the channel from getting pre-rolls. So I will do an ad break and take a five minute break, let the dogs uh, go potty, and then we'll be back uh, shortly. So bear with me here. I'll be back with you in about uh, about five minutes.
Hey, thanks for hanging out during the break there. That is much, much appreciated. And if anybody redeems Puppy Cam in the next uh, little bit here, they are not in the room, so I will definitely get you a refund or get you a free one as soon as they're back in the room. But thanks for uh, hanging out during the break. Much, much appreciated. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. <laughs> Your mute you say That's not weird at all. <laughs> doesn't seem too happy but most reptiles are not happy in the cold so good. Keep you up or anything. <laughs> Good talk. Ironwood. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. Well, this was your idea. Maybe Freya knows. Hera, how's it going? How was it going? How was your Wednesday? Hopefully you're doing well, friend. Hopefully it was uh, a little bit better. Uh, I think, was it last week Wednesday? Or maybe it was Monday. I, I'm not remembering correctly. Uh, but hopefully you're doing well, friend. We haven't seen Jormungandr uh, since Fimble Winter began. I was beginning to think he'd left the Lake of Nine somehow. But Sindri's nose was right. The world serpent woke up when I called. But when I asked him about Loki and what I should do, all he had to say was Yarn Vior. Not helpful. No idea what Ironwood means. But it was still nice to see him again. Jormungandr. That is a fun name to say. That way, but I know another path. This way. Door's frozen. Maybe I can... <gasps> can you push the door open? <laughs> Good job, Lucy. <laughs> it's funny. She was pushing the door open just as uh, Atreus was trying to pull the door open. <laughs> Pretty strong bow. Would you just like pry the door open? Okay. 
So what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. <laughs> Might have been Monday doing much better today, though. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. I'll try to give you a little bit of puppy cam. Lucy's the only one in here at the moment. And of course, she's just barely off camera. Are you being elusive tonight, Andago? Are you being elusive? <laughs> all right doggo all right doggo you're a good girl <laughs> sometimes when we call her over she'll do like the very very bare minimum like she'll just kind of move so slow and go oh i can't quite do it that's what she did there you're a good girl though people can still see you <laughs> they tried to kill her we had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. <laughs> yeah. I know some of them are going to come alive, so I'm just going to... Oh, nice. There we go. Well, Dang. that's quite enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. All right, so where can I get a fire pot? Oh, there's one right there. Just, uh, just missing it. I thought I had to have Sindri throw one or something. Delphi. Oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. <laughs> Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Vessel, I wish it did. <laughs> ha! Oh, that's funny. See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. <clears throat> okay. New skills, new skills, that's nice. Knock off the rust. Cool. Um. Uh, oh, I don't have enough experience. Nice. Apparently, we've been banking up experience for a while. I don't think I can break this. I need to find another way around. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? <laughs> Is that such a bad thing? 
When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Yeah, so just uh, carry a, a loaded weapon. It'll make you feel better. Just keep going. Jump. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. <laughs> what makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Well, Living his name is Loki, option. so of course he's going to thrive on chaos. Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. remember exactly para are you in the united states do you celebrate thanksgiving at all do you have any big plans Really digging the the combat differences between Atreus and Kratos. All this right. is really cool. More soundstone. Oh hey, look at that. That takes care of that. Cool, you can actually uh, dodge while you're, you've are you got a charged up uh, bow and arrow. Ooh, I dig that. That's really cool. That is really heckin' cool. Okay. Let's zip around here. Man, your father could see me now. He would lose it. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust well, you if you lie? Yeah, exactly. Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? <gasps> I'd like the, uh, out loud internal monologue.
keep going up. It's a little overwhelming, though. I don't have the uh, crowd control that I had I with the, uh, the Blades of Chaos. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? Yeah. Uh, have you seen that little cutscene, uh, Para? Uh, awesome. That was just a cool little detail that they didn't need to s sneak in there, but it was so cool. This this game is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I couldn't eat him off the cliff. That would have been awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it, it's just so cool. I mean, it's so indicative of his character. He thinks he's as strong as his dad. He's just ready to be a man, but he's still a teenager. And just to see him go through that is... Uh, it, it's humbling and heartwarming and just so very on character. I really wish I had a compass. Which kind of shows that the writers and scenario directors and everybody that's behind this project uh, truly understand the characters they made, which is so cool. Okay, boys, not all at once. Yeah, the character development is so good. It's really a joy just to experience. Get out of here. Get out of here. felt like it was going to come alive as soon as I <laughs> opened those barrels. Uh, oh. Probably need to take a peek back here. Yep. Don't aim at them, aim at the... 
This auto aiming garbage. I got this. It's very annoying. Yeah, I got this. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. There we go. There we go. Gaffa. It's been so long since I played 2018's God of War that I don't remember where all these spots are supposed to... I don't remember what they're supposed to look like. Yep. Hello down there. Hey! <laughs> come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Oh. Hey! <laughs> like you never knew? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. It was too good not to throw uh the snowball. It was too good. Just Couldn't be sure help to it. scream if she starts killing you. Thanks. <laughs> I feel so much better now. Just scream if she starts killing yep. you. That's the door. <laughs> hey, Freya. What? Classic. Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean okay yeah should probably avoid mentioning that yeah is that Freya why am I wearing this around my neck the arrow tip that killed your son that's a great question uh <laughs> I'm so dead he is a very awkward teenager and I relate to this a great amount <gasps> here goes nothing Yeah, tiny human moments are amazing. And I gotta ask, why is he still wearing that, to be honest? Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What Don't makes I... you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Maybe done a better job tucking that away. Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us, offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if he you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, 
And that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Yeah, does she look okay to you, Atreus? What we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here's a lie? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartal Farm. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together. Enough. Enough! <laughs> Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change oh, my mind. Freya. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Our chat wasn't all I hoped for, but it actually could have gone much worse. At least now I know she wasn't... She doesn't want to kill me, not really. She seemed interested to learn about Odin visiting, and Tyr being alive, and me being the last giant. And especially about realm travel without... Or with realm travel being unlocked. <laughs> really not sure what she's going to do next, but hopefully... It won't be using all the information I just gave her to attack us again. Yeah, I really didn't think this through. That's yeah, pretty true, Atreus. <laughs> Scraps of metal from Tyr's temple fused with soundstone. Ooh. So do I need to equip this? that it have uh, are inflicted with sonic melee okay. attacks do extra so I'm damage. Not dead, but I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time, which I will never ever admit to Sindri. <laughs> oh, come on. Give me the prompt again. And you prompt me again? Oh, I need to hold over. That's why. It's a good thing I like climbing. Pretty capable climber, dude. I know it's, I'm not cut out for it. Too scared of heights for that. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's going to help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh, yeah, she Today did. was your lucky day. So, tell me, 
How did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just okay. fixed that! <laughs> I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Was it that enemies just keep Nightmare. popping up? <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Nice. I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah. yeah. Good idea. Hate to That's bring it call. up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since nope. you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll... What's the matter, Lucy? Bear with me one second here. Did you think something was at the door? Is that what was going on, on Doggo? Did you think you heard something? <laughs> Are you a good girl? You're a good girl, Lucy. Be a little bit more puppy cam. She's kind of in frame. Oh, no. Not quite there. She's within arm's reach, though. That's a good doggo. That's a good doggo, Lucy. <laughs> on my lunch break, she, uh, I was putting on my boots to go back to work. And she rolled over just like that, but with her head right on top of one of my hey, boots. And it that's just my beer. <laughs> hey, that's my beer. But you're more than welcome to uh, grab a pint and relax. Uh Please help me if I butcher your name because uh, it is a very unique username. Is it Diceros Omen? Am I saying that correctly? Am I? Am, did I get that right? Is it Diceros? Uh, one Jug One, welcome in. Diceros, thank you for the raid. Uh, first try, wow. Um, I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> Uh, but welcome in. My name's Uncle Wooly. I play Dark Souls 2 on Monday nights. Wednesdays, I've been working on God of War Ragnarok. And on Fridays, bright and early, we play cozy little Final Fantasy 4. So that's kind of what my stream schedule is like. Um, I understand you just got done streaming Diceros. So if you need to take a break, you need to get some hydration, any of the, you know, do any of your de-streaming process, feel free to raid and fade if you need to do that. Well, you're more than welcome to hang out. Hey, thank you for the uh, the beard compliments. That is uh, much appreciated. Uh, I will have to go uh, check out your channel next time you're live so I can see your beard as well. And I do have a couple of stream dogs. They're kind of elusive at the moment. Are you going to say hello, Roxy? <laughs> so the one that just walked over there is uh, the Jack Russell is Roxy. She's a 13-year-old. And the one on the right is Lucy. She's a 4-year-old uh, Shih Tzu. 
and they're infinitely more awesome and adorable than I could ever be. And so people usually just hang out for them. Uh, they tolerate. <laughs> Thank you for the holy sip, by the way. Uh, as I was saying, people tolerate my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns in the meantime. Would you say hello to our raiders? Did you welcome them? Did you welcome in the raiders, doggos? Thank you for the new follows as well. Those are very, very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Ellie on the way back. Come on. How's everybody doing tonight? You were playing. Well, first of all, let's get you one of those Twitch official shout outs. You know, one of those officially licensed things. There we go. Get you one of those. And you were playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. I don't think I've ever played that. Had a burrito from Taco Bell. I'll be back. Hey, well, I hope to see you back soon. Uh, <laughs> hopefully the burrito doesn't do too much damage to you. Um, but welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, everybody. And if you need to uh, lurk due to spoilers, um, this is God of War Ragnarok, so I don't want anybody to get spoiled on <laughs> You can reach him, Atreus. There we go. Okay. Oh, I hate these things. I hate the nightmares. No, there's one right behind me. Is you can dive with the charged up arrows. I really dig that. Nice. There okay. we go. Back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying. Thank you for the confetti. Um, can I call you Jug, or do you have a preferred uh, nickname? Die. And and just like. Uh, I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Ooh. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. That's a revelation. That story. Dang. Um... <laughs> And anybody that came over from the raid, if you have preferred nicknames, preferred pronouns, feel free to share those in chat. I want to make sure you feel welcome. Jug works? Okay. If I might ask uh, Jug, uh, how did you guys find the channel to, to raid over to? Um, always curious how people find me over in this corner of, uh, of Twitch. Oh. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to jump. Really? Now? <laughs> oh, that grapple thing is cool. Digging that grapple. Come on, Sindri. Help me out here. Uh, looking for someone to raid. Omen saw your beard and. Oh! <laughs> that is cool. That is cool. Sometimes the beard does pay. Anyway. I'm legally uh, obligated to keep it. I cause trouble. No. Because I if I do shave off my beard, uh, I appear to be 15 years old underneath. Voice. And we're afraid that my wife fine. might go to jail uh, for marrying someone so young. What do you mean? A choice. I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they, 
shunned us. So we left. I don't even know if I have a photo. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the path. I have had a beard. Who you are. I think since Let's 2010. That might be the best idea. Was the last time I shaved my beard. Trey. Trey? It's an Shut up. Cuz otherwise I had a beard basically since I went to college in about 2006. <laughs> But the last time I fully trimmed my beard all the way down so was when I was interviewing was? for the position <sighs> I got hired uh, that I'm nope. in right now. That was worse. And well, so that was, yeah, I heard it when I gosh, said it. over 12 years ago now. All right. Shall I've we? trimmed it down. This is it, this is actually really long. Uh, I've kind of let it grow out quite a bit. Coming home empty-handed after tear was such a fan. Um, I work as a IT professional, uh, mostly Tyr with audiovisual systems failure, at a local college. So I equip uh, classrooms uh, with audiovisual technology for instructors. Yet. Maybe. And then provide technical assistance go along with and training. Forever. It's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. So basically, all well, the all the tech tools the, the instructors need to teach. I'll cover I'm, our tracks I'm the guy responsible for that. Around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. Yeah, I went to college for mass communications in a minor in IT, but uh, go, go, go. when I graduated, a lot of the mass communication stuff just didn't have... Uh, I was going to say oil rig worker. No. Nah. No, nah, that's not me. <laughs> yeah, I went for a mass comm degree. And when I graduated, the jobs just weren't uh, very lucrative or plentiful. So, yeah, it's kind of my story in a nutshell. The abridged version, if you will. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not cause a war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Oh, you're all hungry. <laughs> I could eat. What an excellent excuse. <laughs> Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. <laughs> Oh, Sindri. Uh, bear with me one second. I'm just going to close the office door. The dogs are a little restless at the moment, so just, just one minute. Yeah, where have you been? Yeah, I was taking a leak, Dad. My gosh. Chill out. <laughs> Let's go into the bathroom, dude. Boy, where have you been? Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, that one came from... So I have a channel, Redeem, that's uh, Captain America or Captain Wooly. And I wear a Captain America mask without my glasses and basically play, you know, blind or at least less with some vision impairment. And so that's kind of where that emote was born from. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> I remember food tasting better. <laughs> I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Atreus, <laughs> where are planning our next move? 
Oh, oh. thanks for the bean. So, where are we going? Alpha. Thank you for the bean. I'm with the elves. Alphon? You hate Alphon. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. How fun. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> nice. More for me. All right, I will get your bean there, Para, and it landed on the tutti fruity or stinky socks. Thanks for the bean. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. It always gets stuck in my teeth, too. Mm hmm. Oh, man. That one's in there good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Wow, that one was rough. Yeah, the rotten fish one is bad. And I like how you put that in parentheses because on the package it says dead fish, but really any edible fish is already dead. So, yeah, it should say rotten fish. I completely agree with you. Tear, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, um, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Mm, that elf light is some good shit. <laughs> uh, I have, let me count the beans in this box. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. And it'll still be the sixth edition, so the, the two new flavors that they have with this one are the uh, pomegranate or old bandage and the uh, cappuccino or liver and onions. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me. He explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent you taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. Oh, this world is just so lived in. It's wonderful. These clothes keep everything I just Darn straight. You never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get there. 
He's not the landlord. Um, uh, okay. nope. Can't upgrade anything there. Want something in particular? Ooh. Yeah, let's get some resurrection stone going here. That'll be nice. All right. Is there anything in here? Okay. Let's get going. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. So I'm not sure if I get a choice of where to go. I am a little torn. Um, let's just get over to Alfheim. Alfheim, and we'll see. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a Oh, I do have the spicy ones, too, uh, Para. I'm not sure if you saw that redeem. It's a little bit further down. Uh, those ones are about 2,000 hoppiness units or channel points. But I do have uh, a big tin of the spicy ones, too. <laughs> and many of the times I've gotten really bean boozled is where people will claim both of them at once. And so I'll have to eat a, a spicy bean and a regular bean. And some of those combinations, I will tell you, are absolutely atrocious. Um, the worst one was a Carolina Reaper bean and the liver and onions bean. Uh, ugh. It still haunts me. It still haunts me to this day. And thanks for the puppy cam. Yeah. Pikachu. I promise I'll be brief. Oh, Mr. Squirrel. What? My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? <laughs> this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. <laughs> no. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Raditz Hosker. The one you know as Raditz Hosker <laughs> is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! <laughs> I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, Whoa. Mm. That squirrel's got some I've language! For you. Would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of... Jug, thank you so much for coming over with the raid. Uh, very nice to meet you. Hopefully we'll see you again in the future and have yourself a happy Thanksgiving if you are celebrating that and uh, take care of yourself. Can we get some hearts in chat for Jug, please? Uh, one of the uh, new friends we made uh, from the raid that came over uh, from Omen. Yeah, uh, I'm a big fan. Like Squirrels are just hilarious to me. I've always found like characters in movies and whatnot that are squirrels I just adore. And so I am really, really fond of this character. This is amazing. Uh, Wimpy, I already talked to Freya as Atreus. I really haven't had a chance to go to any choice of what world I go to, and we're about to go to Alfheim. In Brazil, to be precise. <sighs> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? <laughs> yes, my tree. Here, <laughs> let me show you. <sighs> ah! So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alfheim seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. 
Okay, uh, paths split like branches of the Yggdrasil. Alfheim awaits with a long and difficult journey. The training grounds of Niflheim hold secret rewards. Svartalfheim may hold unfinished business. Choose carefully. Ah. So you're saying to go that to uh, Niflheim. Niflheim of all places. A realm as Niflheim. ancient as it is vaguely sticky. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's... Let's go there then. If we're not going to Alfheim yet... Probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? Okay, so these are Crucible. Find the second uh, Muspelheim seed. Okay. Close the Draugr holes. Oh, wait. Uh, we have received a travel seed that will take us to Niflheim. We can explore the area when we're ready. Cool. I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. I like that as a loading screen, too. Where you actually get an active loading screen. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor <laughs> bastards with their souls cut up. Raven tree. This is really cool. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Okay, nothing to gain, so why would I... Why would I want to do it? Or is there like a trophy thing you get that you kind of have to do things in this area? Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Oh, hey. Free are we. Free of the Father. Our half-wives now belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. Oh, well, I can open one of them. A gift of life. Girdle of Raven Tears, heavily fortified armor that is said to be stronger than the hardened ice of Nipo. The thoughts. I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Okay. So it's just basically check back at intervals of six. Oh, it doesn't quite work that way, but at least for a bit. Uh, let's check on that armor. Oh, that's cool. I really dig that. Yeah, that is really cool. And they didn't have to do that either. Mind handing over the stuff you found from those dwarf rebels? Got sentimental value and whatnot. Need something special? Oh, cool. These will look real nice in my collection. Ah, damn, you've been busy. Yeah, I have. Yeah, these are shit. But for you, I'll buy them. Wait, feels like there was something else. All right, armor, Ready can I upgrade the waist? Are. Nope. Need dwarven steel. Hitting the road or chewing the fat? Bit of both. Bit of both. 
That is really cool how, how they've given a story to that. Oh, so I need another seed then. I think it means seeing more raiders come back as hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad, and a troubling one. If hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Seagrin's efforts, or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit, even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Namir. Sorry you missed the puppies there earlier, Sword. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't Master forgotten Master Kratos, me. I would speak with you. Here. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Now, what else might there be to discuss? <laughs> it almost looks like Roxy was looking at this, at the squirrel. I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. Notice these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neetho. Nitho? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Nitho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Nitho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds familiar. Hmm. <laughs> well, um, that's cool. And Mattis Dog was telling us about Nithog and the whole story there, and he got it completely right. So, Mattis, if you're watching the VOD or anything, or if you're still lurking or any of that, uh, good job, dude. Good job with the the uh, Norse knowledge I'll leave you to that it. you've imparted on us. I know he hates the thumbs up too, so to I kind of feel it's father. almost. Unless you wanted to finish something in Svartalfheim first. Second nature to do that. <laughs> but uh, thank you for the lore. Uh, knowledge drop there, Mattis. Well, unfortunately, I do have to end it a little bit early tonight, but I'll be back with you early Friday morning with some uh, more Final Fantasy IV. So let's drop a save here. And we'll find somebody to raid out to. Uh, let's go ahead and quit out of the game. Perfect. Be a little bit of background music. And some more puppy cam while we find somebody to raid to. Oh, Roxy. He's such a good girl. He's such a good girl. see here. I am going to avoid raiding anybody playing God of War Ragnarok because I am definitely avoiding spoilers and most people are probably going to be much further in than I am. Let me see here. You know what? I am going to raid uh, somebody playing God of War Ragnarok. Uh, it is their third day playing. Uh, they might be a little bit further than us. Actually, they're not, and this is perfect. So we're going to be avoiding spoilers, and that is just wonderful. We're going to raid over to a, a new acquaintance, uh, Drugal. Uh, also a Final Fantasy nerd. Also enjoys story-driven games. I know he just finished uh, Persona 5. So let's share the support over there. 
We get some raid messages here for the subs and the non-subs alike. We're still going to do at least one more Wooly raid before uh, the season changes after uh, Thanksgiving. Things might look a little bit more festive around here come Friday, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Um, I want to thank everybody that came over with the raid from Omen. So if you uh, get a chance, go say hello to Diceros Omen. Thank you so very much for the raid, friend. And also, I know he doesn't stream, but uh, School Bus, thank you so much for that resub 11 heckin' months, dude. That's awesome. And thank you for the new follows tonight, too. You all are so heckin' appreciated. And uh, those in the United States, uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And enjoy the holiday if you can spend time with family, if you can spend time with friends, uh, whether it's local or remote, however you uh, you can visit. Uh, say hi to everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the vibes. You guys are always fun. You guys just hanging out and chat and, and just... Uh, basically hanging out with me while I play video games. It's amazing. <laughs> um, should be playing. Should be. Uh, oh, I think it's an L instead of exclamation. <laughs> all right, all right now. Go. You're overstimulated. I know. Let's get some beer in you and then it's right to bed. Woohoo! Beer, 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 bed, 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 bed. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the good night wishes. Uh, if you can stick around for the raid, please do so. We're going to raid over to Drugal. And as I always say, take care of yourselves, everybody, okay? Uh, stay hydrated. Get some rest. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And, well, until I see you on Friday morning, bright and early, with Final Fantasy IV. Cheers, my friends. Have a good night.